guys, Amber from the vault here. Welcome back to another Fallout 4 settlement mod. Now, this one is called Cloth Covered Awnings. I'm pretty actually, I'm actually pretty excited about this one because I like building uh, different things. I like building shops. I think this might be a kind of a cool thing to put in the game. So we're going to find it under structures, metal, miscellaneous. Now, remember, if you have USO installed, unlock settlement objects, that does have its own separate category. This is going to be under the original category. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. If you don't use USO, that meant nothing to you, but that's all right. So we're going to go ahead and check it out in-game. I'm going to add it to the outside of some of my builds, just see kind of how they work and how they look, and I'll be back in just a sec, guys. All right, guys, so this is where we're going to find the awnings. Go into structures. Again, not under USO integrated. This is under the original menu. We're going to go into structures, metals, miscellaneous, and here we're going to find all of our different pieces. Now, I have had a little bit of problem with this. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to say that it's been a smooth ride. It's definitely been a little bit more complicated than I expected, but I think it's something that we can definitely use with a little bit of practice. You just have to get used to using it. Again, I think it was just because it's taken me a while to kind of get used to it. I've been using it a little bit, as you can see on the building to the side of me. Now, it seems like if you want to move one, you're probably better off not moving it. You're probably better off actually getting a new piece uh, and, or a new uh, new file, I should say. Grab a new awning. Don't try to use old awnings and replace them in different places. It's just a little bit more of a pain in the ass. It doesn't work quite as well. We're going to go ahead and try to build a corner here. So we're going to go ahead and try to put in the two pieces. Again, I've had more issues trying to move the pieces once they've been placed. I find that it's usually better to just grab a new piece of awning. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the way the game is, or if that's the mod, or if it's just, uh, I don't know, maybe just one of those random curiosities. So let's go ahead and try to line this up. It definitely does, uh, it takes a little bit of lining up. You have to be a little bit more careful than I was here. Obviously, I'm doing things pretty quick because I'm doing them in the mod. But I definitely think that this would be a really helpful way to add uh, kind of character to the outside of your stores. Now, I found that it's easier to go in from the side so that you can see what you're doing. Again, you're going to see here why I say start with a new piece. When I try to put uh, the existing pieces, when I try to move existing pieces, I find that I have some issues with them. So get a newer piece, you tend to have a little bit of an easier time in sticking them against the walls for whatever reason. I like going in from the side. I found that that's a little bit more helpful. You can kind of actually see where you're placing your awnings. Uh, there's three different sizes in here. So we have our short pieces, which are the one right there. You can see here, short pieces. We also have the very long pieces, which is the one whoop, you just saw me place, just fell off. And then we also have the corner, so you can go ahead and add a corner anytime you want. So if this is something that you guys are interested in. I definitely can see how it would be helpful. Ooh, I almost fell off again. I can definitely see how it would be helpful and make stores a little bit more interesting. I think that it kind of gives it a little bit of a more fun look. So if I was going to put a store in here, we could have a little bit of a storefront here. Might be kind of interesting to have the different uh, the different awnings. I think it could give it a different little look as well as uh, separating things out as well. That's one thing I'm always struggling with. I don't know about you guys when I'm trying to build things. I tend to have things that look the same all the time. and Sometimes I want them to look a little bit different. One issue I have had that I w did want to point out real quick as I was kind of experimenting with this before I got on camera is I have difficulty placing doors underneath it. So if you want to place doors, maybe it might be a little bit more uh, useful for you to actually use doors that don't have such a that, so that hangover as we do here in the metal doors. Otherwise, let me show you real quick on this pull out this one. You can place it if you've already have the door intact. So make sure that you have the front of your building finished completely before you want to place that awning. Then you can stick that on there and you will be able to use it. You just won't be able to add a door after the fact. That's going to be a big sticking point with this. Again, though, also reselecting and trying to move these around. Sometimes they're a little bit more picky the second time when you try to move them, so you might have to grab a new piece. But definitely a very helpful mod. I think it's going to be really interesting and I think it's probably really going to help people out and building some awesome looking stores. So if this is one you guys are interested in, the mod description and the mod link are below in the description of this video. Go ahead and click that. Remember, it will be for PlayStation 4. I've had a couple people ask about PC and uh, Xbox One links. I'm not going to be giving those out, guys. I do these on PS4 for a reason, but I'm pretty sure that you could Google it and find something else if you guys don't already have this over on PC and Xbox One. But definitely one I was interested in, guys. This is, again, going to be cloth awnings for PS4. Thank you guys so much for being here. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me. helps other people find the videos. And, of course, it is a huge motivation to keep moving forward. Also, let me know what kind of videos that you guys want to see, because I definitely try to pay 
pay attention to what you guys are watching. So thanks, guys. Go ahead and click on that playlist if you want to see the rest of my Fallout videos. Otherwise, click on the picture of my big dumb head for subscriptions to the channel and also a video that YouTube thinks you'd like. I'll see you guys in the next one.